Today I'm going to show you how to name files inside of your Sanguine terminal without doing it inside of your code editor. Okay, so we are going to do this inside of the Sanguine terminal. So let's go to our desktop. So on our desktop here, I have this empty folder right here called item. So this folder right now is empty. So we are going to use the Sanguine terminal over here to name our HTML file, our CSS file, and our JavaScript file. Okay, we are going to do this inside of the Sanguine terminal without doing it inside of our code editor so let's go to our sanguine terminal right now so the first keyword you use you need to print your working directory so you say pwd and what this simply means is print working directory so you hit enter so the next keyword you use is cd and this cd simply means change directory so you say cd drive so it's a cdc and this simply means drive so it's a cd drive so you hit enter and then now we are we are in our drive directory as you can see here so the next thing you do you say cd users then you hit enter and then you say cd user then you hit enter once again so now we need to cd into our desktop because we have that empty folder inside of our desktop so we need to cd inside of our desktop so you say cd desktop hit enter so now let's check for everything that is inside of our desktop to be able to get that empty folder because we want to name files inside of that empty folder so let's list everything that is inside of our desktop right now so to list everything inside of your desktop, you use the keyword of ls, and this simply means list. So you list everything inside of your desktop. So you hit enter, and this is everything right now. This is everything we have inside of our desktop. So as you can see, this is the this is the empty folder called item right here. As you can see, right here called item. So we are going to cd into this folder right now to create the files all right so to do that remember we use the cd so we say change directory to item so you say cd item you hit enter now you can see you can see here we are in our item folder so let's list everything let's check if there's anything inside of this folder and right now remember there's nothing inside of this folder so let's just check so say ls hit enter so you can see there is nothing inside of this folder so let's create our files now to to create files you say the keyword you use is touch so you say touch just touch just like that so now let's first of all let's create our index.html file so you say touch index.html yeah, you hit enter and then you say once again to create our styles.css file, you say touch styles.css. You hit enter. And then you say, remember, we need to create our JavaScript file as well. So you say touch. So we say main.js. JS to create our JavaScript file. Remember, it's a JavaScript file, so the extension is JS. So you hit enter. Now we have created our index.html file, our styles.css file, and our JavaScript file. So let's see if it's really working. Let's list everything inside of this item file. So remember to list everything, we use the ls. So let's check if there are, let's check if we, are, we have created these files. So we hit enter. So as you can see, inside of our item, we have our index.html file, our JavaScript file, and our styles.css file. So we have successfully created our files in our Sanguine terminal. So let's go to our desktop and see if this file is still empty. So let's go to our desktop. So you can see the item file right here. So let's click it. So you can see inside of our item file, we now have a we now have an index.html file. A JavaScript file and a styles.css file. So we have successfully done this inside of the Sanguine terminal without doing this inside of our code editor. Remember, lots of people do this inside of the code editor, but we have done this inside of our Sanguine terminal. So let's go to our code editor. Our code editor here. So right now, this is just everything is just starting from the start. So let's 
get our item file so you click your file here open folder and now let's get that item folder that we created all the files in so right now this is the item folder so you click the folder and then you select the folder instead of your visual studio code and as you can see inside of our folder here our item folders you can see without doing this inside of our code editor we have successfully created our index.html file our javascript file and our styles.css file so we have done this in our sanguine terminal without doing it here inside of our code editor so if we click our index.html file as you can see we have our index.html file right here if we click our styles.css we also have our styles.css file our javascript file as you can see everything is just working here so you can see we have done this inside of our sanguine terminal without doing it inside of our code editor so you can create files inside of your sanguine terminal if you want so as as usual i hope you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment and like this video i will see you guys next time